Hello, darlings. Do you have a sneaky suspicion that your friends just might be jealous of you? Then maybe they just kind of, you know, envy you in some way? Well, I'll tell you what. The mystic beings are going to give you some answers today. And then we're going to pull into my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck. Yes, my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck for a little clarification on your situation. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like for you to take a moment to let your mind settle into your spirit. I'd like for you to breathe in to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and blow it out to the count of nine. This will allow you to select the butterfly that most resonates with your spirit. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. Hello darling, if you selected the grayish blue butterfly, this reading is for you. So the question is, are your friends jealous of you darling? We're going to see what the mystic being has to say and then I'm going to t look at the three cards that I selected from my Jungle Beauty Goddess deck for a little clarification on your situation. So let's see what's going on here. Are your friends jealous of you? Are your friends jealous of you? Let's see, let's see. It says, oh, I hate this card. It says, mind your own affairs. Why? Wow, that card, it's just telling you that your friends are probably not jealous of you and that it's probably you just being a drama queen and just trying to you think that somebody, I don't know, that's what the card means to me, but we'll see what the other cards are saying. Yeah, okay, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Charlie who represents our third chakra. She's coming in saying, trust your gut, use your resolve to move forward. Mind your own affairs. So to me, it sounds like it doesn't even matter how they feel. Like, it's, like this is almost like a waste of your time to be inquiring about this because you have bigger fish to fry. You have something else that you're working on that is so big, so important that whether your friends are jealous of you has nothing to do with what your big dream is. So it means about minding your own affair. The next card that I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. Are your friends jealous of you? She represents the heart chakra. She says, if you need to ask questions about love, you already know the answer. Oh, it's just got kind of smart mouth. Pretty much what they're saying is you already know the answer as to whether or not your friends are jealous of you. But according to so far, the energy I'm picking up from the co collective hand is that this is beneath you. This conversation is beneath you. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at the next card for you. Are your friends jealous of you? Let's go ahead. We have Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, and she says, listen to your body. Okay, so when you get a card that says, listen to your body, your body really has to do with your connection to the earth. It has to do with your, your, body, um, your body image, your cultural roots, your generational roots, your 
um, ability to feel safe, prosperity, your wealth, your money, your agenda, your goal, your soul purpose, your mission. Like if your body, so your body can t is your earth suit, and your earth suit is here for a particular mission on planet earth, and your body is like, look, we got things to do, we got a you know, paper to write, we got a job to go to, we got dreams to conquer, this is beneath us. And so, personally, it says that your friends jealous of you, I think what the cards are saying is that because of the caliber of person that you are, because of the goals that you have established for yourself, that you really don't even have time for this level of pettiness. And that, I'm just going to it says if you need to ask the questions about love, you already know the answer. What we're talking about right now is friendship. I think what they're saying, like this card by itself would just mean like you already know that how they feel about you. So why are you inquiring? But in this context to me is saying, do you really have time for this? Like if you have to ask this question, if you need to ask um, questions about love, if you need to ask questions about friendship, you already know the answer. So if you are wasting your time asking the question or wondering and inquiring about whether or not they're jealous, you already know the answer. And then it says, trust your gut, use your resolve to move forward. Trust your gut to me, it means that this hand to me, collectively speaking, is a hand that says, you are a person with goals and dreams and aspirations. You have things to do, you know, and that when it says mind your own affairs, it means that you have so much to do that you don't even have time to, to be bothered with your friends or be bothered with even wondering if they're jealous of you. And I don't want to say this because it sounds so cold and mean, but the energy I'm picking up from this hand is that your friends are not even on your level. Like you're not even like, they might be your friends, but where you're going and what you're trying to accomplish and who you are is so far, like it's like uh, you. Are, uh, the card, this card is the one that really dominates, and it it sets the tone for the rest. It says, "Mind your own affairs." It leads me to the believe that you just you're just on your path. You're on your dream to something so much bigger that yeah, they're not even like really worth. You know, you being concerned about them because probably in a few years you're not even going to be friends because of what you're trying to accomplish. That is what I'm picking up from this hand. Anyway, I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the olive green butterfly, this reading is for you. So the question is, are my friends jealous of me? The mystic being is going to give you an answer, which is going to shape the answer that's coming in from the, jungle, the three cards that I have pulled from the jungle beauty goddesses. So to the question, are my friends jealous of me? Are my friends jealous of me? Oh, Lord, let me see. All right, let's take a look. It says, not now. Okay. Are your friends jealous of you? The mystic bee says, not now, girl. I'm going to tell you what that I don't know what that means, but not now means not yet. Or maybe they were, but you guys have resolved it and now everything is good. Maybe you had a talk or maybe they come to see that maybe your new position didn't change you. Or now that you're in school, you're still the same person. Or just because you lost weight, it didn't mean that you were, they see now that you are a very sincere person. So that's what that means to me. So let's go ahead and take a look at our deck. So we have Jungle Beauty Goddess called Holly. And she says, let's take a look at this. Whatever the question, love is the answer. Oh, are your friends jealous of you? You, you guys love each other. Oh, I'm so happy to hear this. 
something went down but you guys squashed it you got over it you worked it out somehow this whole thing worked out um let me see what the next card says to give us a little bit more clarification on your situation let's see what second beauty got us how it represents our throat chakra our ability to see the truth speak the truth know the truth and to artistically express ourselves and she says the answer is in the question so are your friends jealous of you why do i think my friends are jealous of me well what's the truth well based on this hand it says not now and then you have a card that says whatever the question <gasps> you got two cards with the question in it you got the jungle beauty goddess um sahara who says the answer is in the question and then you have a card from jungle beauty goddess kalahari that says whatever the question love is the answer so to me this leads me to believe that there is something in this like the fact that you are asking this question is ironic like maybe you guys work something out are you maybe you, you know there's even a possibility that um i don't want to say i don't feel like you're jealous of them i just feel like they may have thought that you had changed in some way but the truth is you know you could have even asked them are they jealous but the point the the feeling i'm getting from this hand so far is that you guys have worked this out and they're not jealous anymore that's what i'm feeling i'm feeling that there's real love here there's real truth in this friendship there's real communication in this friendship and things have been worked out but let's take a look at the last card for you the last card i have is from general beauty goddess sign now who represents our second chakra, our ability to enjoy life, to have healthy relationships and friendships. Honestly, that's what, you know, what she represents. Oh, it says the magic is always in the moment. Okay. This is a true friendship. So maybe in the past, this person was jealous. You guys work through it. Everything is good. Everything is good in the hood that's what this hand is saying that you guys excellent communication skills a, a healthy relationship you've been able to move past it and now you focus on what you guys have which is a really good friendship is what my cards are saying um i really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you. So the jungle beauty goddesses and the mystic being are going to answer the question for you. Are your friends jealous of you? So we're going to first look at the answer from the mystic beings and then we're going to look at the three cards that I selected for you from my jungle beauty goddess deck. So let's see what they have to say. Oh, okay. Are your friends jealous of you? Are your friends jealous of you? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, let's see, let's see. I'm so nervous. Okay. It says, get her in focus. Uh-oh. It is not for your highest good to know this at this time. It is not for your highest good to know this at this time. <sighs> when they get real philosophical and deep so we're going to take a look into the jungle beauty goddess deck get a little insight so are your friends jealous you know what i think this is what i think this is what just popped in my head the reason i think the cards are saying that it is not for your highest good to know at this time because i think it's a situation where most people will be jealous but it's going to work itself out that is what just popped in so you know like let's just say they have wanted to get married for a long time and they've been looking and then now you're about to get married and they broke up with their boyfriend I mean like most people would be jealous 
or maybe they've been trying to go lose weight and they've done everything possible but all of a sudden you just lost weight or you just got their dream job I believe this is what I believe in my spirit this is what came over me is that the situation right now most people will be jealous but you but it's not going to last it's a normal natural human emotion and that you guys are going to work past it and that everything is going to be fine but I'm going to take a look at my deck to get a little bit more clarification to the situation but that is what my gut instinct is saying about the answer from the mystic being so the next card I have for you is from jungle beauty goddess Namib and Namib represents the soul. Let me get this card and focus here. And Namib says, oh, Are you listening to your soul or trying to please others? So, this is telling me that other people are telling you she jealous of you, girl. She just, you know, such and such jealous of you. And your soul is like, Yeah, I might be jealous too if I was in her shoes, but so yeah. I get the feeling your higher self is like stop listening to people saying that your best friend or your friends are jealous because maybe you know most humans would be jealous under these under these circumstances so again that kind of collaborates with the first card from the mystic being now I'm going to go ahead and pull the next card for you and this is from the matter who is the father of the jungle beauty goddesses and he represents divine masculine energy and he is about creating. Um, <gasps> look! Oh my God! It says love is the most powerful force in the universe. Boom. See? Your friend love you. And you love your friend. And whatever has happened or transpired or, you know, maybe you got a promotion. Maybe you got a new job. Maybe you got a new body. Maybe you were making more money. You know what I'm saying? It's just a normal human emotion to feel a little envious. And this is why it's not for your highest good to know because it's something you guys are going to work through and you're going to be fine because, sorry for smacking, love is the most powerful force in the universe. Boom got one more card for you I'm very excited I, oh this is such a good hand and like it, it makes room for being human you know what I mean so I have another card for you and it's from Namib we're talking about our higher self we're talking about our crown chakra so we're just, again we're talking about the big picture oh you are a timeless and limitless being proceed in this manner again it's telling you to be the bigger the bigger person it's telling you that whatever your friend is going through, it is going to pass. This is natural. It's a natural human emotion. But your friendship is built on love. And that most people, when humans feel like envy and jealousy, is not. It's, it's a part of the human experience. But is the universe does not want you to think of your friend as this person who was jealous of you and listened to gossip and and just may, maybe just even be a little kind maybe knowing that you know where you are or what you have and what may, they may not have just be a little sensitive and look at the big per picture and be your higher self and know that this person really loves you and that your friendship is going to survive I really hope this reading helps someone Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink butterfly, this reading is for you. The mystic beings and the jungle beauty goddesses are going to answer the question for you. Are my friends jealous of me? First, we're going to get the response from the mystic beings. And then I'm going to go into my jungle beauty goddess deck for a little more clarification on the situation. So let's see what's going on. Are your friends jealous of you? Are your friends jealous of you? Let's see. 
and she says no 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 the mystic beings say no your friends are not jealous of you darling and I'm going to go and look at the three cards that I pulled for a little bit more clarification to the situation to see you know, why you feel that way you know why do you feel that your friends are jealous of you so the first card that I have is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara who represents the mind our intellect, our ability to think and make logical decisions and also to speak our truth and know our truth. She says you become what you think. Mm. See, if you think your friend's jealous of you, that means you create these scenarios in your head. And this is a tricky deck here because she says you become what you think this is leading me to believe you might be projecting so you think your friends are jealous of you but you might be a little bit jealous of them child that is what i'm picking up from this from this card now i don't know what the other cards are going to say but i'm picking up that you know you're thinking this but you might be the one so let's see what else is going on here i have another card for you and it's from jungle beauty goddess chobby and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi says, what is she talking about? One, she's crying, so I don't know. Chavi girl, what's wrong? What you got to say? <laughs> it says, stop playing the victim. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not that girl. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't care if you thumbs down the video. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it from my heart. I'm going to do it to the, from, to the best of my ability. This deck is saying that you're projecting. You're jealous of your friend. Your friend is not jealous of you. So let me go ahead and pull this last card for you. And see, can we get a little bit more insight into what is going on? The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Charby says, let me see what she's talking about. Oh! Oh! Jungle Beauty Goddess Charby says, mind your own affairs. I'm sorry. A Jungle Beauty Goddess, according to this hand, to the question, are your friends jealous of you? The mystic being says, no. From my understanding and my intuition of the collective reading from this hand, is that you are projecting because you are jealous of your friends and that you really need to mind your own affairs, which means, you know, you know I'm sorry. Stop playing the victim. You got clear cards. They're not even like cryptic. You know, stop playing the victim. Stop acting like people jealous of you. Maybe you haven't been very nice lately. Maybe you've been acting weird. Maybe, you know, since that person got in, I'm just giving an example. They may have gotten a new car or they lost weight or they started making more money. You started acting weird towards them. And then you start thinking like, oh, no, they're they are acting weird towards me they change but no my cards are saying look it says you become what you think so if you are thinking like she thinks she all that she thinks she bad she thinks she's special because she got her new job she got married she got a new car she got a baby blah 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 blah, blah. if you're really thinking like who does she think she is you baby is you you jealous of your friend so yeah so that's what my cards are saying okay I really I, I'm not trying to be offensive I'm not trying to lie either I'm not trying to hurt anybody but uh yeah your friend probably hasn't changed you probably changed towards them because you feel jealous and envious but you know what that's human you're a human being sometimes some of the people around us are 
their dreams are coming true, they're getting the things they want, and our lives are stagnant, we feel some kind of way about it. But I want you, as a matter of fact, Chalby represents the third chakra. It has to do with our self esteem, our self worth, and feeling, you know, je jealous, envious, all of that third chakra. I would tell you to get yourself a nice um, tiger's eye ring. Get something to work on your third chakra. Ooh, ooh, even like a sunstone. It's a really good. Let me see. Can I find mine? Uh, do I have? Oh, this is another one. But basically, find you some really good gemstones for your third chakra to help you work on your um, your self esteem and your self worth, so that you can improve your own life and you know make it and be happy with who you are. Because I think it's natural for us sometimes to feel a little bit like when somebody you know move on that. They don't feel the same way about us, but I really want you to work on you and loving you so that you can, um, you know, not project those feelings of inadequacy onto your friends. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.